Well, the start of the school year usually means stocking up on your typical supplies, from pencils to paper. In Wapaka County, however, they are bringing out the hard hats. Local 5's Timothy Lateau on the changes that are under construction. Ron Sari is ready for the new school year. I'm starting my fifth year here in Wapaka. The district administrator for the school district of Wapaka knows exactly how greeting visitors at the secure single entryway will work. And there'll be a drop box right here where if they have a backpack or a Chromebook, something that doesn't fit underneath there, they'll be able to put it in there and it'll go into the office. But supply chain issues have caused a shortage of windows and doors. These doors right here, these six doors, we're, we're going to be missing those. The changes are part of a nearly $4 million referendum, but all four school buildings in the district won't have their entryways finished until at least October. We're kind of at the mercy of the distributor, so um, we don't have an exact date yet at this point. Why are wood interior doors uh, in such high demand that they're 16 weeks behind? I have no idea. For now, the district will use its old camera and buzzer to admit visitors, which Sari says is just as safe but not as convenient. They will get buzzed in from the vestibule into the entryway. Once the doors are here, they will get buzzed into the entryway. There's a buzz around the campus in anticipation for the return of students and for the construction to be complete. In Wapaka, Timothy Lato, Local 5 News. Thank you, Timothy. Uh, by the way, a 2019 shooting threat at the high school prompted a district-wide safety review, which led to those physical changes of all four school district buildings, as well as additional safety training for staff, especially for the front desk receptionists.